All right, so dividing decimals with word problems. So last time we were dividing decimals, now we're gonna add in uh, word problems with it. Um, but before we do that, we're gonna do the kickoff, going back to last time we were dividing decimals. So remember, here, first number is what's getting broken up. So that's what's gonna go in the box. The second number is what we're dividing by. That's gonna go out front. Now with decimals, we want whole numbers, so we'd move this over one time. This gets moved over one time, so we're going to put it up top. So 5 can go into 2, so we'll go to the next one. 24, 5 can, 4 times with 20. And we have 4. Bring the 3 down. So how many 5 is going to 43? Well, 8 of them to get 40. Then we have 30. So since there's not another number here, we can bring a 0 down. Um, and 5 can go in there 6 times, and we'd have our 30 to get 0. So 4.86 is what we'd end up in the end. So remember, with decimals, we're going to set it up just like we would with whole numbers. Move that decimal so that the divisor, the number out front, is going to be a whole number. However many times we move the decimal to the right, on the outside, in front here, we're going to move that on the inside. And then lastly, divide it out. Uh, remember, we put our decimal just straight up, and that's where it's going to go in the number. Um, but word problems. So, five people will equally split 6.8 acres of land. How much land will each person get? So, uh, we start here with the 6.8 acres. That's what's getting broken up. So, what's getting broken up is going to go in the dividing box of 6.8. What we're breaking it up into is what goes outside. So, we're breaking it into five people. So, we'll put the five out front. So, Whole number, so we can just divide right away. So 5 would go into 6 once. We'd bring the 8 down. Uh, I'd go in there 3 times, which we put the decimal up there. So 15. We had 3, so there's no other number, so we can put a 0 there, and it'd be a 6. So we get our 30. So I end up with 1.36. And because it's a word problem, we need a label, so acres. So, Gemma's Taffy Shop made 353.69 kilograms of taffy in six days. So, to the nearest hundredth of a kilogram, how much taffy, on average, did the shop make each day? So, our total amount of taffy is what we're going to break up. So, uh, 353.69 will be in the division bar. We're breaking it up into six days. So, each day is going to be... Uh, we're looking for so the six will go out front so when we start dividing six can't go into three but it can go into 35 six times no five times six could give us 36 so 30 minus would leave us with five bring the three down well eight of those will give us 48 and we'd be left with five again so if we put our decimal in um so bring the six down We'd have a 9, which is 54, left with 2, so bring the 9 down. Now, I'm running out of space in my paper, so I'm just going to bring it up over here and keep going. So 29 is the number I'm working with, so we could do 4 of those to get 24, minus equals 5, so make a 0. Now, back up here it says to the nearest hundredth, so remember the first one is the tenth, second one is the hundredths. So right now we're covered to the hundreds, but to round, we need to go one more so that we can round it to see if that four stays or if it'll change to a five. So how many uh, sixes will go into there? Well, we know eight of us will give them 48. And it doesn't matter if there's still stuff because now we're far enough. So if I write this over here, we'd have 58.948 is what we're working with. So hundreds, so tens, hundreds to the four. Remember, when we round, we look to the right of it. To the right of it's an 8. So that'll bump that up to a 5. So we'll end up with 58.95. And we're looking for kilograms. So kg. Okay. So when you're rounding, you have to go at least one digit past that spot. 
Because remember, when we round, we look at the number to the right. If it's a five or above, then we're gonna round it up. If it's a four or below, it stays the same. So Trevor made 84 trips to visit his grandmother. This is a lot of trips to his grandma, which you should do. Go visit your grandma. That's good. Um, but he drove 6,877.46 miles in all. So to the nearest hundredth of a mile, how far did Trevor drive on each trip? Well, okay, we're going to start with our 6,877.46 in the box because that's the total amount of miles, and we're going to break that up by how many trips we have. So the 84 is what goes in front, so that's what we're breaking it up by. Now, this is one. Now, I have you show your work when we're doing this, and so I don't have you use a calculator. This is an example of where we can use a calculator and still show our work. So 84 is a big number, so to know multiples of 84 is going to be hard to do. So we can use our calculator to do that for us. So we know 84 can't go into 6. We know 84 can't go into 80, or 68, but it can go into 687. So we would take our calculator, and we'd go 6, 8, 7, divide 84. So the whole number is what answer we'll use. So we would put an 8 above here. And so now to get our eight, uh, 80, 8 times 84, so 84 times 8, would be 672. So now we can subtract that. 7 minus 2 is 5. 8 minus 2 is 1. So now we can bring our next one down. So 84, we know it's going to go into 157. If I double it, I would have 168, which is a little bigger. So I know this is only going to go in one time. So 84 minus 7 minus 4 would be 3. Uh, really, we can leave this as 15 instead of borrowing. 15 minus 8 is 7. So we bring the next one down to 4. We're going to put our decimal in. So 734. Close to 632. So I'm just going to go 84 times 9. And that's 756, so I know that's bigger, so it's going to be another 8. And 8 times 84, we already had there, was 672. So when I subtract, I'm going to get 2. Uh, 73, if I borrow to make this 6 and 13, 13 minus 7 is 6, and 6 and 6 would cancel. So then we bring down our next 6. So, 626, we know isn't 672, but we're in the 600. So we're going to go one short and go 7. So now 7 times 84 is going to be 588. Now, I'm going to write the answer to that right over here. So uh, the 2 we borrowed to make this 16, which would leave us with an 8. Uh, we'd have to borrow again to make that 11, which would be a 3. And the 5s would cancel. Uh, we already used our 6, so we'd bring a 0 down. Now again, we're dividing or rounding to the nearest hundredth, so we're tens, hundreds. We've gone two places, so we're to the place we need. But we need to do one more so that we have a number to round it with. So how many 84s will go into 383 or 380? Well, 380 divided by 84. I need four of them. So four is going to be my number. Um, and we can find this just to, for the, the fun of it, I guess. Because technically, once you have that next digit, you could stop. So 336, so we'd be subtract by, so we'd have 4, because we'd borrow and make that 10. 7 minus 3 would be another 4. And so just to show that, hey, we wouldn't need another one, this is what we got. So we are at 81.874. So round to the nearest hundredth would be that place to the right of the 4. 4 wouldn't round up, so 81.87. And we're looking for miles as our label. Okay. Last one. Uh, Henry built a tower of blocks that was 220.5 centimeters high. So he used 63 identical blocks to build the tower. What was the height of each block? Okay. So our total height is our 220.5. So that's what's getting broken up. That's what's going to go underneath the bar. How we're breaking it up by is we're using 63 blocks. We're wanting to know each block, so we're going to divide by 63. That's what we're breaking it up by, is by 63s. So, again, I know 63 can't go into 2. I know it can't go to 22. 
but it can go into 220. Now, I don't know that off the top of my head. I'm going to guess it's somewhere around 3. So let's just do 3 times 63. That'd be 189. Uh, another 63 is going to put us well into to the 200s, which is going to be bigger than this one. So we're going to roll with that. So 3 there, which was 189. So when we subtract 10 minus 9 is 1. Borrow from the 1, make that 11, which would be a 3. We can bring the 5 down. We passed our decimal, so we're going to put it in. Uh, 315. Uh, again, just top of my head, I know uh, 6 times 5 would be 30. So 60 times 5 should be 300 something. And we have a 3 in here, so let's try the 5. So 5 times 3 would be 15. So 5 times 6 is 30, plus the 1 would be 31. Went up to zero, so 3.5. Our label is centimeters. So, again, still going to need to see the work, but that's where we can use the calculator to help us fill out the work. Uh, because, again, I'm looking for the process right now because you're probably going, well, if I'm using my calculator to find this stuff, why can't I just put it in and get the answer to begin with? Well, that's good, green, grand. Again, right now I'm looking for the process of can you do this without a calculator after we get done with this test, you'll be able to use the calculator because you've shown me on the test that you can do it. Um, but right now, because I'm looking for the process, I have to see that process, and you put in the calculator isn't showing me the process. So that's why I'm doing it that way. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Um, otherwise, we'll talk to you later.